Hello and welcome to the first NTU Geography Tech Space videocast. Today I'm going to walk you through a few of the new features in ArcGIS 10, which will be replacing ArcGIS 9.3 uh, for the next academic year. Okay, so when you open the Arc Map um, program, you're firstly presented with this Getting Started um, screen. Here you can see maps that I've used recently, which you can access from here. Alternatively, if you want to start a new map, there are a lot of templates you can choose from. So I could go for a blank map if I just wanted that, or it automatically loads up lots of different templates which are pre-programmed in, which is an improvement on 9.3. The other th main change to this window is that we've got a default geodatabase down here. Esri are very keen on um, geodatabases and they're really trying to push it. So what they've done is created a default geodatabase where all of your data for the map you're going to open will be saved and stored, which is a, a great idea as it will um, reduce uh, confusion in your data storage. However, it's still a good idea to create your own. So for instance, I've got the historic campus geodatabase here. Um, as uh, I, th I think that if you store all of your feature classes and data sets in one place, it might start to get a bit confusing. So you can create your own as well. OK, so I am going to open the estate map I've been working on just to show you a few things. Right, so this is the layout window, and uh, as you can see, it looks very similar to 9.3, as does the data frames in the um, data view. Act I can activate the one I want to look at, which is exactly the same as 9.3. Um, editor toolbar is basically the same, which is good, so it's uh, quite recognisable. One change when you start editing, as I just did, um, is this here. To create features, uh, you can you can do it the same as in 9.3. Um, however, to try and make it easier, they have created um, templates for layer symbols, which you can save separately, and then attach to your layers as as you wish. The other thing that uh, they've done is they've moved some of the construction tools from the editor toolbar down here. So you select what feature class you want to edit and the appropriate tools will appear. Okay. Um, another thing I'd like to show you is the catalog window. Before um, Art Catalog was a completely separate program, and, and, and in a way it still is. Um, in 9.3, it was quite a big problem that if you wanted to edit some of the properties of your feature classes, you had to close ArcMap completely and open um, Art Catalog so you could make the edits, um, as feature classes in use could not be edited in uh, ArcMap. So, what they've done is they've created a window within ArcMap which can be docked or whatever side of the screen you like. Um, and moved around as you wish. There we go. So here you can actually edit uh, properties of your feature classes, create new geodatabases, connect to different geodatabases, geo all within ArcMap without having to close it, which I think is a major improvement as um, you won't have to close down what you're working on and try to remember what you were trying to do in the first place, if that makes sense. So, very useful, um, great improvement. Okay, so that is the end of the first um, text-based video cast. I hope you enjoyed it and um, see you next time.